In the time I don't have left, I want to give you a little Hebrew lesson. I discovered this way before I had computer Bibles. I had perhaps the best single Bible study tool there ever was before computers, Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. And I began to study the fear of the Lord. I went through every time in the Bible the term the fear of the Lord was used. And they would have a little number to the side that would tell you the Greek or Hebrew word. And I noticed a trend. And it was 100... There are few times when something is 100% true in the Hebrew or Greek words. There's usually a little bit of overlap. This was 100% true. There are, I think, actually four words that are used in the, in the Old Testament for the fear of the Lord but two of them are primarily used for the fear of the Lord. The first one is by far the most common, and it is the Hebrew word yare, yare. And it means awe. Our God is an, our God is an awesome God. I know you want me to stop singing, I will. And that, that means our, our God is an awe. He inspires fear. And this word is always used of believers, the people of God walking in obedience. You, if you are a believer today, if you know God and are walking in obedience to him, you never have to be terrified of God because God is on your side. But you ought to have an awe and a respect for him. A respect that uniformly inspires you to obey him. That's what Yare does. Yare is an awe that inspires you to obey God. That's uniform through the Old Testament. Yare is an awe and respect for God that inspires obedience. This is the fear of the Lord that God's people have. There's another word. And it is, now you gotta learn, (laughs) clear your throat. It's called a guttural. (laughs) So you got, this is Pachad. You can just say pachad or pachad, however you want to say it. But the best pronunciation is pachad. This word means terror. And this is uniformly used of the enemies of God. The enemies of God. And they have pachad when they see God at work in his people who show the fear of the Lord. When God's people demonstrate the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, the enemies of God have pachad. When the people of God walk in the fear of the Lord, it creates a respect for God, a terror of God, if you will, among the enemies of God. And when there is no, in, in, there's actually verses that say this, when there is no pachad among the enemies of God, it is often because there is no yare among the people of God. Am I making that point clearly? We're often like, well, this sinful world, they don't respect God. They don't respect the Bible. They don't respect the will of God. Generally, again, I'm just getting nasty here. It's my old age and all that. But when the world doesn't, especially when there are as many Christians walking around as there are today, when the world doesn't have pachad, the terror, the the, the fear of the Lord, when the world doesn't have that, it's generally because they're not seeing Christians walk in the fear of the Lord. It's because Christians are so worldly, so compromised, so much like the world that they're not seeing enough to make them fear God. Don't blame the world because it lacks the the fear of God if we're not walking in the fear of the Lord. Don't blame the darkness for being dark if we've got our light under a bushel. Don't blame decay for happening if the salt has lost its saltiness. 
We spend all this time cursing the world for what it is, and the problem almost always is not what the world is, but what we aren't. 